Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper, and uh, uh, this is something that I saw the other day. I guess y'all probably already know about it, but I just wanted to bring up a few points. And uh, what you're looking at is an autonomous robot that uh, is being built and uh, uh, can, you know, help out law enforcement. I guess it could, you know, help out the military. And uh, I just want to bring up a few points about, you know, how beneficial these things could be. They could really, uh, you know, under the right guidance, it could be really beneficial for mankind. And, uh, you know, not put people in dangerous situations. Uh, however, they could also uh, be turned into something perverted under the wrong control. Because, uh, you know, they're going to do what they're told. You know, they're not going to have any ethics or morals to... Uh, make them question what they're told to do. And uh, I, I found it interesting that I read a study a few years ago, and I think I read it in the newspaper, that uh, if they asked people in the military if if they would fire on Amer the American citizens, and uh, I was astounded to find that 11% of the people of that survey said that they would. The other 89% said they wouldn't, you know, and that's a pretty good ratio. But uh, you ask some of these things right here to fire on American citizens or whoever, and they're going to do it. And no questions asked. It's just you know, it's like you know, pushing buttons on a on a, a machine, and it, it starts the on a on your washing machine it starts the rinse cycle. They're going to do what they have to, or what they're commanded to do. And uh, but what I find really disturbing is if you read this article here. It says, these human-controlled robots will be strong enough to clear a room and facilitate sentry control and combat casualty recovery. Yet, these Terminators would easily be the most effective weapon against civil unrest or radical revolutionaries that did not subscribe to the globalist agenda. Okay, I find that very odd that that would be, you know, uh, up there. And it definitely gives you something to think about. Let's just look over here at this. Let's run this right here. But uh, I mean, you, I, I'll try and give the uh, the website ad, uh, address and uh, uh, the, the the possibilities here are limitless. Also, if they uh, you know if they perfect this and, and if these things can do what they're doing right here, they could you know uh, totally get rid of firefighting and. Uh, you could, you know, why, why would you hire a firefighter to do something? You can send somebody in there who can't get hurt. Uh, there's a lot of other jobs these things could do. You think about what you do daily and ask yourself if this machine could be programmed to do it. And, uh, you know, from an employer standpoint, you know, you're going to get an employee here that uh, is never going to take a coffee break and... Uh, is no complaining and is going to do everything you ask it to do. So uh, it, it, it's it's really kind of a radical thing and I, I remember reading about this back in the 90s, I think it was in 93 or 94, the military was working on robots capable of running and jumping and they said within 30 years they would have it. Well I guess they're running a little bit early. So um, I just thought I would bring this to everyone's attention and uh, a few points I want to make is if you were to confront this guy right here, I really don't think that this right here is going to do it. I don't know if you can see that, but that's green tip 556. I don't think that's going to do the job against him. I think you're going to need something a little heavier. Probably something that has a black tip on it. Um, and that may not do it either. Uh, RPG might be effective. But uh, this is just some stuff I wanted to bring up. And uh, if I were to confront one of these in a crap at the fan scenario, I would, I would shoot this right here first. Take that out of the equation. Anyway, I'd love to hear y'all's comments. And uh, this is the Homestead Prepper, out.